In the North Atlantic and the great rivers that pour into it, there is a legendary fish whose future is now on the brink, the Atlantic salmon. It travels thousands of miles from river to sea, facing great risks and then returning back again. There's something very special about the salmon. It's homing to its, its place of its birth. Once salmon leave the streams of their birth, they live a phantom, unknown life at sea. Magically, they reappear some years later, call back to the very river where they were born. Whole communities once flourished on this bounty from the sea, but now something mysterious and deadly is happening to them. We know that we send out a lot of smolts to sea each year, and they're just not coming back. This is my way of life, it's my family's way of life, and it's part of the fabric of Scotland, and you know, we want it to continue for many generations to come. Somewhere on the salmon's epic journey, these remarkable fish are now dying in huge numbers. There's a mystery of smolts and why they're not coming back, and it's very important to understand where this mortality is occurring. In the last 30 years, returning populations of wild Atlantic salmon have dropped by 70%. To save these salmon, first we must find out what is happening to them. For some, the problem is clear. Principally, the problem is that we have been killing too many fish for too long. Governments and scientists don't accept this. They don't recognize it. Others believe there's more to understand. The ocean's really a big unknown for salmon. We have these big picture ideas of what goes on, but we really don't know any of the details. I just implore anyone that can influence what's going on at sea to do so. Pick up that ball and run with it. With livelihoods at stake and a natural wonder in danger of vanishing, now scientific detectives race to solve the mystery. And for the first time ever, an international team heads out into the North Atlantic to find why the wild Atlantic salmon is lost at sea.